And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various victims of our people. It was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at the government it. college, yeah, Ujeli. And go, on, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the waiting camp. That other camp, some go camp. You don't compensate everybody. But some of them. In a key generation, sometimes. Today, our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and do more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. Good day. Good day, sir. Thank you very much for talking to people, places and events and to the African Center for Community and Development. What are your names, sir? Yeah, my name is Ate Wilson. I'm one of the education officers of the Limbe Wildlife Center and I also work as a keeper the center here taking care of animals. What does it take to keep animals or to take care of them? It is a fascinating job and a noble profession the way I think. Some people don't know but when they visit us they discover what we are doing they become so interesting about us. So it's a place to be. Taking care of other lives which you don't know they are on toilet, they don't communicate with you is so amazing. And we've done that for so many years today. And uh, we want all the Cambodians and the world allies to join our effort in educating the public about this endangered species. What are the activities that fall under your, your job here at Limbo Wildlife Center? Here I am in charge of education, taking care of visitors who come here, making sure most of them get lectures from our education team and those that are not uh, fortunate to go around with any of us is because maybe we are busy or it was a large number of people that are going around and most of us are occupied talking to them and also I also go to schools like now I'm just coming back from a school PJHS where I went teaching and uh, we teach in different different local schools here so that uh, those that are not fortunate to come to the Limbe Wildlife Center, we carry our own education message to them. We teach them and uh, there are some other activities we carry out with them. Um, what is the reaction of the Limbe public or Cameroonians um, to um, the zoo? For the past years, it has changed dramatically because uh, a lot of animals used to be in captivity as pets in people's home in Limbe, but today you hardly find that. I think it has been two, three years now when we have not reported any, we have not had any report about somebody keeping uh, wild animals as pets, especially primates, even though we had a case here about a certain uh, European who was keeping an animal, there were few animals in the house, but they were not primate, like tortoises, snakes and uh, chameleon. But is it bad to keep tortoises? In general, it is not good to keep wild animals at, at home as pets because they have some diseases that we may carry. Same like human, we are living organisms that have diseases. They too have diseases. And if you are not a specialist to take health control, you'll be spreading disease to your family and the population at large. So it's not a good idea. What are the problems you face here as an institution? Actually, the problem we face here is financial problems in order to expand because we would like to expand by carrying some of this animal to the forest, a release site. But because of limited finance, we only have to go a long way until when we are capable of achieving that goal. We will now take some of this animal back home.
we intend to have a bigger space, like a release site in the forest, where some of these animals will be taken there in the nearest future, if possible. And that depends and, and, when we have a good site. And reintroduce into the wild. Into the wild. There are some conditions you follow before introducing animals to the wild. You don't just take animals from a center like this one to a wild and release them there because you just want to do release now, which is difficult. You have to take so many things into consideration. For example, how large the area as compared to the animal biology and how rich is it in food trees. Are they going to continue to be giving them food or they will just be released and adapted on their own? Is it a hard release or soft release? Soft release is the one you go and keep the animal in an enclosure, then start sending them out one after another, or in a fence area, an island, where you take control to when you think these animals are capable of taking care of themselves. A hard release is that one, you just go and dump the animal, then you go off, you just take off, thinking that oh, you have done something, which somehow it is difficult with climate. Thank you very much for talking to people, places and events and I hope through the venue of this program your voice shall reach millions who are going to be watching. Thank you very much too for coming to us, for coming to talk to us and put it in the air and uh, millions of people will be able to watch that and maybe in one way or the other they will make a change. Thank you. And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects affecting the various sections of our community. Beth was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at People government college, Ujeli. Go, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, let the come. That other camp, the Songo camp, you don't compensate everybody. In his key generation, sometimes. Today, our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at more dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.